House Democrats recently unveiled a plan to bring total government control over American health care. Here are four things you need to know about the Medicare for All Act of 2019. One, it would abolish virtually all private health plans, including employer-sponsored coverage. Section 107 ensures that no American, regardless of their personal wants or medical needs, would be able to enroll in any alternative plan that duplicates the government's coverage. Two, Americans would be prohibited from spending their own money for medical care from a doctor of their choice. Personal contracts between doctors and patients outside of the government plan would be tightly restricted. Even private contracts for non-covered medical services would require the doctor to report them to the Health and Human Services Secretary. Three, in striking contrast to the earlier version of the House Medicare for All bill, the new House bill contains no tax or funding provisions, which is a strange omission, especially because the bill incorporates long-term care coverage, including nursing home and community-based care into the basic benefit package, which would likely be extremely expensive. Independent analysts from the Mercatus Center and the Urban Institute roughly agree that the true 10-year cost of Sanders' similar plan would be approximately $32 trillion. And four, despite its sweeping and detailed government control, as well as the imposition of huge but unknown costs, the 120-page bill has nonetheless initially attracted 106 Democrat co-sponsors, almost half of all Democrats in the House. Liberals love it. And they say completion of this massive disruption of today's public and private health insurance can happen in just two years.